So what's missing from mainstream fitness is a mental approach to our physical development. You know, everyone says fitness is mental, but rarely do we do anything about it. You know, there's many programs that teach us how to train our body, but few that teach us how to train our mind. Sober Fitness was originally founded to introduce fitness to recovering alcoholics. But we quickly realized that our existing 12-step program provides an ideal mental framework for physical development. This was the missing link in our recovery, and it's the missing link in mainstream fitness. It provided a more complete picture of recovery that includes our physical health. And it provided a method of reorienting our approach to fitness away from willpower towards something more sustainable. But with a few slight modifications, we can see how the 12-step program could be written for a program of physical development. One, we admitted defeat and that our physical health had become unmanageable. This is recognizing the problem. Two, came to believe that we could do for ourselves what no one else could. This is becoming willing. Three, made a decision to turn our physical health over to ourselves. This is the restoration of personal agency. Four, made a searching and fearless physical inventory of ourselves. Five, admitted to ourselves and another human being the exact nature of our physical defects. Six, became entirely ready to remove these defects. Seven, humbly sought to develop a fitness identity and reorient our approach to physical development away from willpower. Eight, made a list of all physical wrongs we'd done ourselves. Nine, became willing to forgive ourselves for these wrongs. Ten, continued to take personal inventory and when wrong, promptly admitted it. Eleven, sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact between body and mind the two parts of our program. 12, having achieved physical transformations and ascendance in our recovery as a result of these principles and the true application of them in all of our affairs, including our physical health, we sought to carry this message to those still struggling with their physical development and to truly practice these principles in all of our affairs. So as you can see, we already have the framework for a mental approach to physical development in the principles of recovery. It's like recovery and fitness have been moving along parallel tracks for a long time. Sober fitness occupies the nexus, the place where those two tracks meet. So we briefly mentioned a more complete picture of recovery that includes both body and mind. So the positive feedback between these is what allows for actual progress in our program, actual spiritual development. Spiritual development is the product of the continued development of body and mind. If we're just practicing a mental program and we're not practicing a physical program, and we're not realizing that that mental program is the framework we need to leverage a physical program, and then in turn, our physical development positively reinforces our mental development, then what we're doing with that one half of our program is more like spiritual maintenance, because we can't actually gain upward momentum, actual ascendance. This is why the language of traditional recovery has always been that of desperation, like one day at a time, you know, such sayings like another 24 are supposed to have a co positive connotation. But if we're to be completely honest, we know that they're referring to the nature of our struggle, in, which is characterized by desperation. One day at a time, keep coming back, another 24. We're treading water. We claim spiritual progress, but what we're doing is more like spiritual maintenance until we have a more complete picture of recovery that has each of these components, mind and body. Sober fitness is merely the necessary update to our traditions. Nothing has to change with regard to the original program and the original steps and the original principles of recovery. It's simply the true application of these principles in all of our affairs.